five things that you should look for to know if a person really cares and adore you. And this is my five stuff. It's not like there is only five. There is more. But I'm just choosing five out of maybe the hundred or whatever you should look for. And I'm not going by the first, the best, or the last. I'm just trying out there. So my first one would be, if you have your spouse or your other half, you know, and if that person doesn't tell you your hair needs to be done or your hair needs to be cut, I don't think that person really care. If you're walking around with your hair, all I want to do, and they're just walking with you, I don't care. That's one of my things. And the second one is, say, for instance, you're, you're home from work, very tired. Have a bad day. As soon as you come through the door, that other half would look at you and said, Oh my God, you had a rough day, didn't you? Cause they know, cause that's how much they feel you. So they would know that you had a bad day or a rough day at work. Not that when they see your face, they would go like, what's wrong with you now? Why are you so mad? You know, then they would know that there's something wrong with you. And the third one is, is if you're telling the person about your, something about your past or something that hurts you and that person can relate and that person can cry with you tears and feel your pain that tells you he cares but if you're telling that person your your troubles and that person just oh everything will be all right I'll, I'll just walk away and said well that is life and to me that person doesn't care that deeply for them to care they have to sit and listen attentively and feel your pain that is my third one. The fourth one is when you're sad, they would know. Like if there's something wrong, are you missing, you know, something. Not that when you sit and you're out of space, they would be saying, why are you out of space? What are you thinking about leaving me? How are you thinking about giving me bun? Or something negative they would come up with. They wouldn't even guess that you're sad. And something is wrong so therefore I feel like if that person care for you these are things they should know about you and feel and can relate and the fifth but not last when a person will look in your eyes and you feel that feeling how when that person lips touch yours then your body would get so weak and you, you, um, your legs start shivering. It's real. It's not a fairy tale or it's not a love story. It's real feelings. So if you're not feeling these things when your other half kisses you and let you feel this way, it's not love. So you guys think about these five, there are more, but if you notice, I haven't brought up any money in this. This is your feeling and how you feel and how they think of you and how their mind works with yours. That means you guys have this bond. So if you guys have that bond and they have this feeling and they can feel when you're hurt, I think is bothering you then that's how you know someone cares for you and love you genuinely so guess what I would like you guys to subscribe and like this video for me and make your comment and tell me what you think
if I'm correct or if I'm wrong. So please subscribe and like and share. Thank you.